Hello, my friends. Liberty Garden, April 10th. And um, if you recall a few videos back, um, March 22nd, I planted the potatoes. And uh, these broke ground about four days ago. So that was quick. The ones on the wall and the ones here most of them have broken ground already um, remember I dug some trenches here and I basically put the potato way at the bottom right there and I covered it so by now this potato plant has has come out about eight eight and a half inches from the ground so there they are I have a question for some of you gardeners out there. I just realized that I got this plant going to flower. I don't know what it is. It, I threw a bunch of seeds in, seeds in here last year and a lot of stuff grew out. But I think it's uh, some kind of, what is it? Can you guys tell me what that is? Is that a rutabaga or some kind of parsnip? What is that? It's got these beautiful little white flowers. It's flowering already I thought it was yeah. I, 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 for the longest time I thought it was some arugula but it's not arugula <laughs> so I got one I got another one right here that also has a uh, looks like some kind of daikon maybe I gotta, I gotta pull one out let's see oh this one's got two of them oh my god oh wow what the hell is this shit? Hey, these are daikon. I think these are daikon. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Well, now we know. Looks like daikon or some kind of, yeah, or white radish. Yeah, that's interesting. I may make a soup out of it. What else I got here? Well, it looks like I got a bunch of daikon here. <laughs> Holy mother. Uh, what is this crap that I have here? I didn't know what this was. Really didn't pay much attention to it. Yep, yeah, that looks like more of the same, I think. Okay. Well, yeah, stuff's starting to bolt already. So I'm going to be cutting out all these lettuces. They're still good, but they're a little... They, they're a little bit, uh, a little less, less tasty. I'm going to start cutting all this stuff out and then uh, just leave this beautiful Swiss chart to, to give them space to grow. And I'll be putting some, uh, some sweet potato snips in here. I already have them rooted. They, they got real nice root systems by now. So I'll just be putting them in there. And over here... The corn is starting to come out. No, I'm sorry, the squash is starting to come out. The little, the little bell squash. What's it called? The butternut squash. And uh, I don't think the corn's coming out yet. No, nope. well, maybe that's corn. I don't know. Maybe it's grass. Ah, it looks like corn. Maybe yeah. Maybe there's a little corn coming out there. Okay. That's it, folks. Just thought I'd give you a little a little update. Oh, here's a nice pear tree. One 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 person was asking me about this these pear trees, the, the sticky for pear. And um, this tree's been here for about three or four years now. And uh, I got it. I mean, they were gonna throw it away at the nursery, and I brought it home, and I just stuck it in the ground. It took off like crazy. Uh, but last year, if you look at this thing, look at the crown. It's kind of opened up in the center. I pruned it. I had a bunch of a bunch of uh, branches going up real high, so I just took all the all the centers off. See, those were shooting straight out. I took those off, so now the the crown is open, and uh, any fruit that starts setting will be closer to my reach, and also will get a lot more ventilation, a lot more air circulation coming, and so. That should be that. That should help. That should improve the uh, the fruit getting ripe faster. 
because it's not being covered by the foliage. But anyway, it's a good tree. And that's all I got, folks. Until next time. I don't think any, any of the stuff that I planted here has come out yet. Nope. Yep. Oh, here's a nice... Hey, Stella, get out of there. Yes, I tell you, man. A nice, little nice asparagus here. These things grow like crazy, you know? They, they, one day they're small, the next day they're like two feet tall. Well, that's it, that's it. Eh? I'm trying to see what else. Oh, I got some, some tomato plants growing here. These ones already have their little first leaves there. We've had some beautiful days. We've, we've been having some beautiful days. All my peppers didn't really break see, break the ground. I guess they're all seeds or peppers are a little bit, a little bit harder to, to grow in my experience. But anyway, what else we got here? Yeah, my cactus is putting on your little pads right there. This this cactus has no thorns. I got a bunch of beets here that I need to take out. See, I like growing stuff, but I don't really like eating it too much. Like, I don't really care for beets. But people like them, but I don't really care for beets. Little rinky dinky beets. <laughs> I need to make some beet water with some sugar, sugar beet water. Anyway, till next time, folks.